installing Centauri device on site. For a fast and successful deployment, please follow the steps in this video closely. Before you start, make sure that the shock sticker on the device box is clear. Ensure that the Centauri device is not damaged in any way and the protective stickers are intact. Slightly remove the protective sticker on the I.O. port to check that the transportation lock is in place. Place the sticker back carefully. Make sure that you have the right tools before heading out to the deployment site. The Centauri interlocking module is provided with all new shipments. The interlocking module acts as a good surge protector, so it is essential for installation when using DC power. Let's prepare the mount before we head to the deployment site. Only use screws and bolts provided by Transcelestial to install the Centauri mount and Centauri device. Check that you have all the parts for each set of Centauri mount. Attach the two pole clamps A to mount part A by using the four square neck carriage bolts provided. Secure the parts with the four serrated flange lock nuts. The half-assembled Centauri mount should look like this. Now you are ready to head to the deployment site. Place the half-assembled Centauri mount on the pole or tower, exactly where the Centauri device will be installed. For standalone pole installations, ensure a rigid concrete base is used. Contact Transcelestial for recommendations on the specifics of the concrete base. Attach the two pole clamps B and secure them with the remaining four serrated flange lock nuts. Ensure that all four lock nuts are tightly screwed and the mount is secured. Carefully retrieve the Centauri device. Install the M8 set screw into the device. Attach the grounding ring terminal and secure it with the M8 set nut. Grounding on the device is not mandatory if the pole is already grounded as seen on this installation. If you are using the grounding ring terminal, connect the grounding cable to the site's grounding point. Secure the device to mount part A using all four bolts provided. Each pair of bolts should be diagonal to the other pair. You can remove the protective sticker on the I.O. port now. Remove the transportation lock and make sure to store it in a safe place. The transportation lock must be reinstalled whenever the device is not installed or in use, such as relocating to a new location. Now, slide all the necessary cables through the I.O. cover. The fibre cables should be labelled and tested with a power meter before terminating them to the Centauri device. Crimp the cables before connecting them to their respective ports. If you are using DC power with the Centauri interlocking module, the connection should look like this. For AC power sources, make sure that the PoE is working properly. Check that the AC source and CAT6 cable are receiving power. Install the I.O. cover and secure it with the four screws provided. Please ensure a cable conduit is used to protect the cables. Install the beam stop on the top bolt of the mount and secure it on mount part A with the metal lanyard supplied. The beam stop may be used to temporarily block the laser emissions from the Centauri device's front aperture. The beam stop should be permanently installed on the correct position when not in use, to not affect Centauri's operational performance. Turn on the power source connected to the device and check the LED lights located on the exterior of the device. For a newly installed device, the LED lights should be displayed as such. If the LED indicators are not visible, please check the power source. Once all the Centauri devices are installed, you are ready to connect the devices to the DMD app and begin the alignment process.